hi there everyone my name is Pritam and I welcome you all to this channel in this video I'll be talking with you about how we can create template inside PTC Creo now before we start creating the template let's just understand why we need it for example here in this case if I need to just create drawing of this machine or assembly then for sure I'm not going to create template for it however I will create template if I am creating drawing every time for similar kind of assembly or machine the template not only will help me to improve my productivity but also will help me to standardize all my drawing because in this way i am removing the manual process and creating drawing in a specific pattern so in this way i can maintain a particular standard which will really help us to create and maintain quality with our drawings so these were some few advantages of having a template. Now let's start creating a template. To create template, click here on file. Then click on new. Now we need to click here on drawing. Now here you can give your template a name. For example, you're going to use this template with machines. So I can write machine assembly template. So you can write anything here. Now I will uncheck this option which says use default template. Now we will click OK. Here we will select the size of whom we want to create a template. For example, uh, I prefer most of my drawing to be in A3 because I find A3 the perfect size which can accommodate a lot of detail or is not that huge when I compare it with A2 so based on your need you can select any of the size now I will click OK the first thing you need to do here is you need to go on tools and select template instead of drawing now we are in template mode and we will place a few views ok now here we need to click on template view the template view allow us to place the automated view based on the configuration that we're going to set here. So we will be creating a general view and here we can see the turn of customization available. For example, you can define the combination state, orientation, simplified representation, explode, cross section and many more. So here I want to create an exploded view with balloons in a particular orientation for that i need to define my orientation so here i can see the orientation is front now uh, let me quickly tell you how you can give this value or from where you can find these values first of all uh, let me just close it and i just want to go back to the machines or model here i can go here in view and in saved orientation I can see the names so let's say there are few standard orientation available for example front right top if you're going to choose apart from these three standard orientation then make sure whenever you're going to use this template to create these additional views or additional orientation now in this particular case I'm going to use this exp which specifically I created for exploded state. Similarly you need to find the name of your exploded view okay. For that uh, we can go here in view manager click on it and here we can click on explode and we can see the name of this. So by default so it is the default exploded view therefore the name will be default if I want to create a new exploded view for this template then I'm going to click here on new and then the name will be like this or whatever you're going to provide here so as of now I'm not going to create any new exploded state so I'm going to close this now from here what we got is the name of orientation 
and the name of our exploded state as i told you before we need to make sure that if i am going to use this orientation then we should create in our assembly every time this exploded state because this one is not the standard one that comes with creo so if you do not want to go into this kind of hassle then obviously you can choose default orientation with exploded view like this okay now uh, let me just close it or maybe i will switch it back to the template mode now again i will go here on layout and will click on template view now let me give it a name so i can give it any name so just i'm going to write here exploded view of assembly now here let me give the orientation as exp so i just show you how you can find the correct name here now in case of exploded view i'm going to write default apart from these two values what i would like to set is the tangent as display so i'm going to keep it solid and the model display type to be hidden or no hidden let's keep it no hidden also make sure to select this option which says balloon and now we will be clicking here on place view now there are two method actually of placing view either i can make a simple left click here and going to place this view but in this particular case what i what i want to do is i want to define the boundaries of this view in this way the model will scale automatically so i'm going to place my model here up to this area because on the right hand side i would like to place the bomb table now after selecting the area with left mouse button i will release my mouse button so in this way we have placed our first template view which include the following customization which is the model display type to be no hidden line the tangent as to be solid the in view state the orientation we have set to exp and the exploded state to be default now let's click on okay the next thing i want to show here is the boom table now we're going to click here on table and here we can choose all of these option so if you want to see the complete tutorial about how we can create table automatic table then i will place here the link where i have shown how you can create the bom table with different different method this time i'm going to choose here table from file and i will quickly select the table that i have created previously and i will open it and in this way i can easily place it now uh here i can see the size is little bit bigger so here i'm going to delete these two values because this is just for representation so you can create table based on your need just check out the link in the description if you want to know more about how we can create table now uh, apart from it i also want to add ballooning so i will select the whole table and will go to its properties so when you select the table you will see this option which says properties or if you can't find it then you can go to table and here we have got the table properties now from here you can also define the direction of your content for example right now it is from top left corner you can make it bottom left so you you can customize your table or bom table based on your need now the next thing i would like to do is let's go here on bom balloon and here we have got this reason 1 and the type of balloon that you want to have so so i prefer to have simple circle this is my favorite one but let's say you want to keep split circle then you can keep split circle as well okay 
now I will click on OK. So in this way, you can add ballooning here to this exploded view assembly. Now let's create one more sheet. Here, what I would like to do is I would like to place two views. So let's click here on template view. And here I would like to place general view, the front one. And again, you can customize everything here. Make sure that you have set proper orientation value here. Now uh, here in scale, I would like to keep it as it is or you can manually define scale value as well. And apart from that, I would also like to show the model type to be as no hidden line. The tangent display to be solid only. Now I will again click on place view. And this time, instead of selecting the area or defining the area, I will simply click on my left mouse button. And in this way, I can place this front view. Now I will click here on repeat. And this time I would like to prefer to creating a projection view. So I have just click on projection and here I can select this front. So I'm going to create projection view of this front view. Now I can place this view here. The last view that I would like to create is the isometric view. Now I will again click on repeat and here I can write ISO view. Now this I would like to create in shading with edges. This is my style of creating views. Now in terms of orientation, I would like to keep it default. Okay. Now I'm going to click on place view. Now I can place it here. Also, if you want to add format, then definitely you can add background format as well. For that, you need to click here on seat and go to setup. And from here, you can select the background format. As of now, I don't have any, so I'm going to leave it. So just I'm telling you, if your company or you have the format available, you can include the format in this way. Now I will save it. and we'll close it. The biggest advantage of having template as I talked before is that you can standardize the way you are creating drawing for a group of assemblies. Okay. Which means let's say your company is creating a similar kind of parts or designing similar kind of products so you can create template for them and with the help of template you can actually standardize your drawings which means that you will see the improved quality and better workflow in your drawing. Now, for example, I want to create a drawing of this. This time I will go to file, new drawing. And now I can define it a name. Let's say I want to give it a name. And now I will uncheck this option, use default template and we'll click on OK. Click here on use template, then click here on browse. And from here, I can choose my template. Now I'm going to click on open and we'll click on OK. So in this way, guys, we can easily create our drawing. Now we can adjust these balloons based on our need. We can also edit them. Just click on it and click on edit attachment and place the new location. Now I can also drag and drop it based on my need. So in this way, guys, you can create a template and automate some of the process. So in this way, we can create our template and we can also use it with another assembly. So that's all guys from my side in this video. I hope you find this video helpful. If yes, then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for such content. And I will see you soon in my next video. Till then, bye-bye.